Now I'm back in the world builder and we're going to do some scene linking. We've created one level with a start and end and we are going to now create a second level to hook this scene to. So how do you do that? Just open your story editor again and we go to the box here. We go edit start. That says start a game. We're now going to call this start of level two. All right. And while we're here, we're going to save this scene as tutorial two, because alphanumerically the scenes are linked together based on the start and end points. There's nothing magic about it. Zero one, zero two, zero three. They'll link in that manner. So I'm going to save this scene as tutorial two. Now we want to change. End of level one is now going to be end of level two. You can put any kind of story you want in here. I'm just making it simple. Now mix it up a bit. We're going to change the look of one level to the other so that we know we've actually transitioned. So I'm going to go to presets. I'm going to load a theme. These are preset themes. And when you start your scene, you know that um, there's a lot of different presets are already available in the player. Rather than changing the lighting, the sky, and everything manually, let's make a nighttime scene. Preset 12, open that, but we only want to load the atmosphere and the lighting from that particular scene into this scene. So now we do that, and you can see within a couple seconds we've just changed our daytime into a nighttime setting. So now we want to set our screens up for this new level. So I'm going to hit X here to clear that one. I'm going to turn on the camera again. And here's our setting for level two. I'm not really digging that fog effect out there. Let's change that real quick. I'm going to hit escape to cancel. I'm going to close this window. I'm going to go here. I'm going to do this one. Clear the dock. We had this feature recently where it just clears all the windows from the dock. And less gooey. Up on the screen helps it run faster. Grab atmosphere. I'm gonna go to fog, haze layer. That color back there isn't really matching well. I'm gonna select the color. Grab my little sample color picker. I'm gonna pick literally right off the sky there, so that the trees actually fall away in this fog in a color that's sampled from the sky literally. It's pretty dark in here too. Let's give it a little more light. Our ambient light's really low. Set backlight maybe it's a pitch. Close that out. Oh, you know what? While we're there, let's go ahead and turn on the skybox rotation. So it looks like the clouds are blown in the background. So now we're gonna go to the story editor here. We wanna make a picture for our start of level two that matches our current layout here. Take a picture there. That start of level two, and then we want to go to end of level two, remove that one. There's the end. Let's save that. We'll go to our scenes here, and you see we have one and two now. Let's select scene one, open that, start our game again. Hit the continue button. You can make those screens in Photoshop or anything you like. As long as they're a ping file, you can give it your own little title, your own little logo, what have you. Um, add your own text in any other text editor if you like. You don't have to use the text that's in here. We're gonna get this guy. We know where the end locator is. Let's just run over to there. Get that run through the grass here real quick to that end locator because we want to show the transition between scene one and two. So there's end of level one and then what does it say? Next level. So we hit the next level button and then the next level loads for us. And here's the start of level two. Like that. And when we go to the end since we've reached the end, it'll just go right back to the load scene dialog box.
So that's the end of this tutorial. Thanks for watching.